Steve Dotto here. For many people, Evernote has become the hub of their organizational life. I want to show you a few tips on making Evernote even more efficient. Now, one of the things that I always look for whenever I install any new app or start integrating any new app into my life is how does it integrate with Evernote? Because for me, I'm one of those people, Evernote has become the, uh, the kind of the, 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 the glue that holds all of my productivity together. So I look to see exactly what integration there is with Evernote. And I'll give you an example. I love to start my day with Flipboard. That to me is a tremendous experience, browsing the web and looking at uh, the different news stories. They're nicely formatted in the magazine type format of Flipboard. If you haven't tried Flipboard, it's a great tool. So, But it doesn't have any Evernote integration, which to me is, is a massive shortcoming because here's how, what happens is I read through stuff, I find something that's interesting, I say I wanna save that. Well, how do I save it? I, I wanna save it in Evernote. So I had to have a workaround in order to save stories in Evernote because there's no native integration. So let me show you how that might work because uh, I have figured out what, it's actually more than a workaround, it's a pretty darn efficient way of doing it. So here it is. Let's say that this is the story here that I'm interested in, fatherpreneurship, tips on successful fathers and entrepreneurs. I read the story, I say, that's a good story. I wanna share that, I wanna have it, I wanna be able to get back to it. So I wanna store it in my Evernote account. All I do now is I use the, uh, the, uh, the iOS's native emailing features, click on email the link, and then I start typing in the word Evernote. The reason I type in the word Evernote is I have created an Evernote email address that now when I send this to that email address, that link is then emailed into my Evernote accounts inbox, which is how I've structured everything. We all have an Evernote email address, at least should I say it, all of us who have Evernote have an Evernote email address. Let me show you how you set that up because that's the key. First of all, you have to discover where that Evernote email address is. Now, if you're on your mobility device, I'll just show you here first and then I'll show you it on the desktop. If you're on your mobility device, you just go into the settings and there in the settings, you see right down here near the bottom, it says Evernote email address. You tap on that and it tells you exactly what your Evernote email address is. So now whenever you send anything to that email address, it will appear automatically in your Evernote account. And you can actually add more structure. You can actually, by, uh, by just changing a few uh, words in the backside of that email address, you can actually direct it into individual folders. I like to have everything just go into one inbox though, so I can go into my desktop application, which I have right here. I go into my inbox within my Evernote desktop application. I will refresh it because it is uh, it doesn't have the newest email that I've just sent through. There it is on fatherpreneurship. And now I have it so that I can store it in whatever notebook I want so I have access to it when I need it. This is a very elegant way of using Evernote. And it doesn't just work for Flipboard. This system of emailing any random information that you want to store and save works everywhere in your whole information ecosystem. You can send emails, you can send web pages, you can send it from any anywhere you can access your email and send a document, you can now save it in Evernote. Now the next thing I wanna do is talk about what you do with that information once it's in Evernote and how you share it with others because often what happens is you've got a piece of data in your Evernote account, you're having coffee with a friend and you say, oh man, I saw a great article on fatherpreneurship. It would be perfect for you. And so now you have to get that to that person. Uh, this works for website bookmarks, it works for notes, works for everything. So now we have to email it from Evernote to somebody else. And that is a very straightforward process. Now, if you're on, if you're in um, your iOS, if you're on your mobility device, you can just use the exact same system as we just used. Go into Evernote, call up the article. Here's the article on father. Oh, I got, got to switch over so you can see it. Here's the article on fatherpreneurship. And I just choose from the uh, sharing menu here to email that and up comes my email uh, window. I address it and send it off to the person that I'm interested in sharing it with. And you can do that from the, uh, from the uh, mobility version. You can also do it from the desktop version. One thing I've actually found is sharing websites. You know, bookmarks are, I guess they're a necessary evil, but they don't really work well uh, when you start collecting massive numbers of bookmarks. And they aren't very portable. You don't typically have access to them everywhere you are. So now when I find good websites, I clip them into Evernote. Let me just uh, show you that really quickly because this is a pretty basic use of Evernote, but it's one that I think 
we all should use. When you install the Evernote Web Clipper in your web browser, which you see up here, you find a great website like my website. It's awesome. I want to save it forever and ever and ever. You click on this to save it as a, the Evernote Clipper, uh, the Evernote Web Clipper. And then when I save the article, I tag it. I tag the uh, I tag the URL. See, we can choose right here to just save the URL. I save it with appropriate tagging information. Then again, on my mobility device, when I'm having that coffee with somebody and I say, man, this is a great website you should go to, I can search on Evernote and share that with them immediately. It's made me a much more efficient sharer. And isn't that really what life is all about to a certain extent? Evernote fits in our lives in a lot of different ways. Sometimes we have to find little workarounds in order to make it efficiently fit in our system. Emailing into the Air Evernote email account is one way of making Evernote work that much better for you. I'm Steve Dotto. I hope you found this useful today.